So now we're going to talk about a solution to a system. So the existence of a solution for a particular A and for a particular augmented column B. So the fact is as follows. The nice fact that we have. And it's a pretty simple fact. And we're going to show a proof of this fact. So the fact is, there is a solution to the system AB if and only if we have that the rank of A is also equal to the rank of the augmented matrix. So that's a really nice condition. And the if and only if means that if this is true, then I have a solution. And if there is a solution to the system, this is also true. So that's, that's pretty interesting. So let's get a proof of that fact. When we, when we do a proof for an if and only if type of statement, we have to prove the if part and also the only if part. So the if part is if. The if part is, well, let's suppose that the rank of A is equal to the rank of A given B. And we want to show that we're going to be able to acquire a solution. There is at least one solution. Well, so if the rank of A is equal to the rank of B, right, then there is no row. Oops. in the reduced row echelon form of A augmented with B that produces A zero is equal to one situation, right? So we don't break arithmetic. So there is nothing stopping us from setting all free variables zero. So we set all the free variables to zero and reading off the resulting basic variables the values of those variables. There's nothing stopping us from doing this, and if we do that, we get a solution. So we're done. So if the rank of A is equal to the rank of A augmented with B, then we have a solution to that system. Now we have to prove the only if situation. And that's a little bit trickier. Uh, and to do this, uh, we're going to actually, actually, what's, what the, the simple way to call it is uh, flip and negate. So the, the simple way to call it is flip and negate. But it's actually the, the technical term is we're going to do the contrapositive of the statement. So for the only if, we want to say that uh, if A given B has a solution then so that's what we want to say that the rank of A is equal to the rank of A augmented with B. So we want to say that, but we're actually going to prove the contra contrapositive. Sometimes it's easy to prove the contrapositive. And the contrapositive just means that we flip both sides of the statement and we negate them. So we're actually going to show that if rank of A 
does not equal rank of A given B, then A given B does not have a solution. Now it should be pretty clear that the rank of A is less than or equal to the rank of A with B, right? That, that should be immediately clear. And why is that? Well, when I add the, the column here, I can only increase the number of non-zero rows, right? And definitely if there's a zero row here, uh, the, you know, this is, this is still, uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be non-zero, right? So, so that's just true. So if I have that the rank of A does not equal rank of B, rank of uh, the augmented matrix, then I have to have that the rank of A is strictly less than the rank of A, B, right? So, so that means that when I get this into the reduced row echelon form and and I and I perform gauss jordan elimination and I get the reduced row echelon form of this. Well I have the reduced row echelon form of A, I have the reduced row echelon here, right? And then I have B up here. I have some B. And so I'm gonna have have to have a situation. So there has to be must be a zero row of the R, R, E, F, the reduced row echelon form of A, matched with A, B, I, that does not equal zero. That's what this means. So consequent to this inequality. But what does that mean? If I have a zero row, zero row matched with something that's not zero, then I have zero times x1 plus zero times x2 plus all the way to zero times xn is equal to bi. But this side is all zero, so bi must be equal to zero. This cannot happen. So I have that bi is equal to zero and bi does not equal to zero. Therefore I have a contradiction and so I can't possibly have a solution. Right? So there's no no solution to a b. And this is exactly what we wanted to prove and so we're finished with the proof. We've shown the if part and the only if part. So we end with the tombstone marker in honor of Halmos. And we move on to the next result.